Hello, everybody. I am back. I'm so excited to be back. <laughs> I felt like I didn't、uh, record any episode last week because I was doing the Five Days to Transform Your Relationship Challenge, and that was very fun as well. But it's definitely like like when I host live events, especially if it's like a long one week long event for five days. There's a lot of energy and focus and attention that goes into it, and so. Um, that has been like my focus and where I was at, but it has been so much fun, and just like、um, I love the live energy because every time when I'm live,、um, like I see myself as someone like sure, even though I have an online presence, I am a content creator, but at the same time, I also don't really see myself as,、um, you know how there is some like self help slash personal development, quote unquote gurus. Um, on the internet, who are just all about you know helping you, giving you life advice and tips and tricks and quick hacks to improve your life, and like sure those things are cool, and those things are Google Googleable, <laughs> you know like you can Google them, and what I'm really interested in helping you create is to actually change your real life situations with real life problems that is happening in your life in at work. In your business, in your relationships, like this is where、um, I would say my、uh, true nature is at, and what I really want to help you create. And this is the reason why I love working with people, like privately, even one on one, to really help them shift their lives in just like a few weeks, a few months of working together. There's so much changes that can that can go on, and the conversation that we're going to talk about today, it's. Especially tar targeted for anyone who is like feeling like you're constantly in this loop where you're criticizing yourself in your head, you're criticizing yourself, you're judging yourself, you're shaming yourself in your head, and then you're, but then at the same time, it's still very hard for you to move forward. Like you're criticizing yourself, but. You still don't know how to get out of your own way. There are still a lot of sabotaging behaviors that you're doing in your life, that you're taking in your life that you don't feel proud of, but you're still doing them. And then after you do them, then you beat yourself up, and then you do them again, right? So this is a cycle that keeps on repeating itself.、Um, a few weeks ago, I shared about, you know, I had an episode talking about. How to get out of your self sabotage cycle and get out of this self sabotage loop? And today we're going to look at it from another perspective, which is like really helping you get out of your own way, and really being able to calm that mental chatter that is in your head, and to stop being at war with yourself, stop fighting with yourself, because it takes so much energy to fight with yourself. When you're fighting with yourself. All of your energy is going towards fighting with yourself, and you don't have the energy and the capacity to actually be present with your work, to actually be present with what's in front of you, and to actually solve the right problems, right? Because right now you're trying to solve the problem that's in your head of you criticizing yourself. Do you see? So we're really going to dive into that.、Um, before we talk about the details, I want to share with you an upcoming. A group program that I am hosting starting on May fifteenth, and it is called Endearing. Endearing is a nine week program helping creators and entrepreneurs really learning and 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 increasing their capacity to settle for more and to fall in love with themselves, fall in love with their life. Their lifestyle, fall in love with their work, and fall in love with how they are showing up every day. And so,、um, this is really is I see this as like a foundational、um, life coaching program that I'm going that is going to be here and that is going to to stay. And so, if you feel like okay. I want to work with Shirley. I want to work with a life coach over a long term capacity, but maybe I want to start. With something smaller, with like a smaller investment, over a shorter period of time. First, endearing is a really awesome,、um, core foundational program that we can dive into. So it is a small group program. So there is a mix of self 
uh, so there will be self-learning modules and there will also be a mix of small group collaboration and implementation session as well as you get three one-on-one -on -one private calls with me and this program is really designed for those of you who want to liberate yourself from your own mind um, so there's going to be three modules that we're going to cover. Number one is we're going to help you experience self-liberation, to liberate yourself out of the stories of your mind, to liberate yourself out of your past trauma, past pain, and to liberate yourself out of social expectations and rule books that you we subconsciously set for ourselves to truly come alive in our life. That's the first module, liberation. And the second module is we're going to dive into connection. How do we help you connect deeper to your why, to your purpose? Create more deeper and more meaningful connections with your loved ones, as well as connecting deeper to your social cause. Um, and also building that brand presence that you really want to care about and really connect deeper to your values and to what you stand for. So that's the second module connection the third module we're going to talk about alignments really aligning yourself to the external so doing the inner work right the first um i would say the first two the first half of the program is about doing the inner work and the second half of the program is about aligning yourself the inner work with the external so that it shows up in your lifestyle and we're going to create structures and routines and systems in place in your life especially if you're like if you're someone who set your own schedule and set your own um, agenda we're really helping you to practice and to see how to work with your own flow and work with your own energy to be able to create the right structures rituals and, and movements and specific standards setting specific standards in your life so that you can attract and call in more love, call in more abundance, call in more success into your life because that's so important. So I am so excited for this program. This is like, I created this, these modules and these processes based on almost five years of experience in my private one-on-one -on -one coaching practice with private clients. And I realized that, oh, this is a process I take um, almost all of my clients through. And so I'm excited to share with you inside this learning module as well. We will do lots of group coaching and implementation sessions. So it's going to be, it's a very immersive experience. We The enrollment ends in a few days. If you want to learn more, you can check it out in the description box to learn more. Okay. So now that I have shared about endearing, now let's dive into the topic of what we're going to talk about today, which is helping you get out of your own way and to really calm your inner critic. And this is the objection that comes up a lot um, when I tell people that um, when we're talking, when I'm helping people kind of like working on calming their inner critic especially when it comes to doing work. Because here's the thing, a lot of us are forcing discipline onto ourselves, right? There's like the right kind of discipline, almost like you're doing it because you know it's going to raise your standards and it's going to, um, like you're doing it from a loving way. But there's also another way of creating discipline where you are, it's almost like in a more negative and forceful way where you're pushing yourself forward through force and through push and grind and through self-judgment and through criticize, criticizing yourself. And the objection that comes out a lot, like see, that I get from people is that I have to tell myself that I'm lazy. I have to tell myself that, um, like, all right, Shirley, like, get your shit together. You're so irresponsible. Why can't like, just like push yourself forward? I have to do those things or I will be lazy or I'll be laid back or I won't do work. This is the objection I get a lot from people when we first started working together is they will have these thoughts in their head. It's like, no, I can't possibly just tell myself to relax. I can't possibly just tell myself I'm doing a good job that 
what I'm doing is enough. Because if I say those things to myself, then I will become lazy. I will just chill. I will just not do anything. And so, <laughs> all right, let's like debunk this myth right now. So here's what I want to say, okay? Forcing discipline and forcing self-criticism onto your onto yourself is not going to create long-term success. In fact, what this will actually create for you is it is going to lead to crash and burn. It is going to lead to you doing a lot of behaviors that is sabotaging yourself. So it's going to lead you to self-sabotage yourself. Okay. So let's like really look at this, right? And really understand why and why is this happening. So let's say um, you always want to get up earlier, but you always sleep until very late. And then you wake up around like at a very at a much later time. And you, and you keep on telling yourself, oh my gosh, see, you're doing it again. You're so lazy. Other people can do it. So why can't you, why can't you do it? Okay. And when you just kind of like feel into that energy of what that feels like when you tell yourself that, when that becomes your narrative in your head, when you tell yourself that, oh my gosh, you're so lazy. Other people can do it, but why can't you do it? There must be something wrong with you. I totally get it because I've had these thoughts before in the past as well. Like there was a period of my in, in my life where I was very mean to myself and I really beat myself up. And one thing that I tell myself a lot is you're so irresponsible. There's something wrong with you. Okay. So again, feel into that energy. When you're constantly repeating this thought that there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. You're so lazy. You're so irresponsible. Notice how that makes you feel, right? When I told myself this, when I tell myself that there's something wrong with you, it makes me feel so crappy. It makes me feel like, like is this, is this true that there is something wrong with me? It makes me feel, there's a word that I'm trying to to to, to uh, get to. Oh, yes. It makes me feel inadequate. It makes me feel not good enough. And so when I think that, right, I experience this, this sensation of feeling not good enough and feeling inadequate and feeling small in my body and in my experience, and how do I show up? I show up in a way where I am inadequate, right? When I tell myself there's something wrong with me, I end up sleeping even later and I end up waking up even later because I truly believe that there is something wrong with me. When I tell myself that I'm irresponsible, what ends up happening is I start missing appointments. I show up late to the things, to my meetings, I don't do what I say I would do. I don't keep promises with myself because I genuinely believe that I'm irresponsible. Do you see? Like this just creates you proving yourself right. And so this is what I want to offer. Self-criticism is not going to help you create success. Sure, it's going to lead you to, you know, like force you to push yourself forward for a short period of time. But then it's not sustainable at all. Because the more that you say those things to yourself, the more it just becomes true for you. And the more it just creates this narrative in your head. And so, right? And so then like it just creates a cycle that never stops. You're proving yourself, right? Because you're saying all of these mean things to yourself. To yourself. So then you keep on like, um, like crash and burn or you keep on like, doing things last minute, like push yourself to find and achieve the task. And then right after you finish a task, you crash and burn for a, a week or a few weeks. And then you don't show up anymore. Um, When I first started, like in the early stages of, of my business, I remember I would like show up every day, post every day. And then I would have like one or two weeks or a month even of just needing to quote unquote take a break because 
there were just so many judgments in my head that I have about myself and about how I'm showing up for my work and how no one wants to work with me. This is so hard. I'm doing something wrong. There's something wrong with me. I'm so lazy, right? And then like all of this, it's taking away my energy, making me feel drained. And it eventually it does lead to burnout. And so I'm constantly on this burnout cycle where I'm pushing myself to take some actions and I hold back, right? This is how to get yourself out of your own way is to stop criticizing yourself and to really um, work on this relationship that you have with yourself in your head. And so now instead, let's look at it from a different perspective. Let's say, um, because the thing that people always say is, oh, but I can't just let myself relax. I can't just tell myself it's enough because if I believe it, then I'm just not going to do anything. Okay, so let's really be curious about this, right? When you tell yourself that I am doing enough, I'm exactly where I need to be. Notice how that makes you feel. It's all in the energies. It's all in the energy. It's all in the feelings, my friend. Notice how that makes you feel. When you tell yourself, like, when I think about, I when I tell myself, I'm doing enough, oh, my entire body just relaxes. And I'm like sinking into this truth. I just feel so relieved. And I feel so less attached, right? And then when I'm in this place, I tell myself that I'm doing enough. I'm exactly where I need to be right now. Actually, I always ask people, when you're in this place, what would what naturally feels right? Like what what kind of behaviors will just flow out of this place? Right? When I tell myself I'm doing enough, I'm exactly where I need to be right now. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Actually, when I'm thinking this, I'm not gonna like when I really feel calm and safe and enough in my body I will just want to work because I want to (laughs) right I will just maybe I'll like go I'll take a walk take a break and I'll come back and I'll feel rejuvenated and I'll think more creatively I will feel more open I will have more fun in my business I will talk to people because I want to instead of forcing myself to do those things and actually when I tell myself these things guess what I actually end up being more responsible I actually am not quote-unquote lazy and when I'm this place I don't believe that there's anything wrong with me so that I show up as if there is nothing wrong with me. Do you see? Oh my gosh, I felt like I'm on a road today. (laughs) Okay, do you see this shift? And can you feel this shift, right? This is the reason why forcing discipline onto yourself and criticizing yourself is not going to work. So I hope that by now I've kind of convinced you to really see that, okay, criticizing myself and, and really telling me these things is actually not like the right approach. I will actually create the right kind of fulfillment and, and, and success in my life. Okay, it could possibly create external success in a way where you're just like always on the move, always doing, 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 always achieving, 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 but not from like this meaningful aligned way where you're truly fulfilled and truly loving your life. Right. And I know that if you're listening to this episode, you you don't just care about creating external success. You want to create success in a way that feels good for you. You want to su- create success in a way that feels like you're coming alive, that you're really loving your, your life. And you're someone who doesn't just want to achieve money goals. You also want to have a life outside of your business you also want to love your life you also want to love your relationships you want to have so much time with your loved ones and have so much capacity and time for yourself so this is what I want to offer right like forcing discipline and that inner critic is not sustainable it's not going to actually help you create the kind of life that you want so 
And the, and the other thing I want to offer is, okay, so let's look at this, right? If there are behaviors that you're doing right now that you don't feel proud of, and that's maybe you're, you know, low-key shaming yourself a little bit about what you're doing, such as maybe you're watching too much content, maybe you are overeating, maybe you are avoiding sending out that email maybe it's like you know exactly what you need to do but you're just not doing it so you're you're like keeping yourself busy you're distracting yourself so you actually don't have to think about it don't have to be with it right and maybe there's like some shame around that and that's something that we're also going to really help you work through as well inside endearing is is there's a whole topic where we're going to talk all about unshaming really helping you unshame yourself from those narratives that you have and really feel detached from those right and we have so much shame about our behaviors and about how we feel about our life um and so that's a really key top topic that we're going to talk about so um the behaviors that you feel shameful about right now you want to ask yourself, you want to like, like instead of shaming yourself, because this is what happens. The moment you start shaming yourself about those behaviors, you are blocking yourself away from the wisdom that could have been here in this behavior. And, and our body is so intelligent. Our body is so, so, so smart. We have certain needs that we, that, need to be met and if we're not giving ourselves those needs then our body actually responds in a way where it's trying to fulfill that need it's trying to show us something through our actions and so let's say if you've been you're like binge watching content let's say like you're on netflix too much you're like tired at the end of the day so then you turn on Netflix and you end up watching it for five six hours straight and then you get you don't get enough sleep and you wake up much later the next day Um, and then your whole day the next day is all ruined quote-unquote ruined (laughs) right because you're waking up later Um, and so if let's say if there's a lot of shame around that um, yeah and this is the exact example I was coaching someone uh, earlier this week in uh, the challenge in the relationship challenge on like um feeling this way about how they're watching content and watching shows so let's say if this is you right and let's say if this is something that you also experience um you want to really ask yourself why is it that you're doing this like what is it about watching drama that makes your body want to do it like what's that experience like watching drama so in this specific example with this person that I was coaching on um for him he was watching drama a lot and what he realized was that wow like inside this drama it's so interesting there is this main hero and this hero is so brave he is really putting himself out there he is saying the things that like really living a life that is inspirational that's motivating like he feels like when he's watching the drama he feels like he is the main character and he is a hero and he is really actively changing his life like that's the character in the story that he really aspires to and so through this experience what we found out is that perhaps in his personal life he's missing that piece right his body subconsciously and unconsciously desires to feel like the hero of the story he deeply desires to put himself out there to do things that makes him come alive and to do things that makes him feel inspired and to know that he's overcoming challenges every day do you see is in the intelligence of this behavior that you can learn so much about what you're missing in your life and really seeing that, right? Unshaming yourself first from that 
behavior from that quote unquote sabotage behavior and really seeing how can I apply this need in my real life? What am I missing right now? And how can I give this more to myself so that my body doesn't need to get that through drama? You'd be surprised with, I've coached and worked with so many people through shame and through their self-sabotage behaviors. And there's always so much intelligence in what they're doing, right? Um, the reason why you're binge eating, it could be because um, you're actually feeling so frustrated at work and maybe your work is, um, you, it's actually not the type of work that you you want to do. Like you feel so frustrated and so drained at work. So then when you come home, you cannot help but relax through eating. And that and what you're missing in your life right now is you actually want to help yourself to feel even more relaxed right now, to be able to see how we can create an environment for you, a lifestyle for you where you are feeling and you know how to tap into mindfulness and know how to relax on demand, right? There are a lot of things that we can learn through our actions, through our quote-unquote sabotage behaviors. And also you can ask yourself, sometimes the reason why we avoid sending out that email, we avoid putting ourselves out there is because there's a fear and there's an anxiety that's there that's holding us back. And so you really want to ask yourself, what's on the other side of me taking this action I'm actually afraid to feel, right? Are you scared of feeling, getting rejected once you send out that proposal? Are you scared of other people um, not responding you, having crickets after you send out that offer? Are you afraid of people's judgment of you, right? These are all fears and anxieties that are here for you to work through. And your behavior is showing you so much. And so, and also the other way to really look at this is what if it's actually not how you want to do life and how, what if it's actually not how you want to do business? A lot of times there are a lot of um, kind of like things that we tell ourselves we should do, but in our deepest soul, <laughs> like our deepest desire, it actually doesn't work with our energetic design. Like it actually doesn't flow with how your energy moves and it's actually not what you want to do. Like I can think about um, there was a time when uh, I tell myself that I need to, I used to, when I first started, I used to like bash content a lot. I would like bash content, like the whole day is just my content creation day. And I would do that and I would burn myself out and I would feel so drained. And then what I realized is actually with my neurodivergent brain and with my, how my energy flows, I'm just someone who moves fast and I get inspired easily. And so I create content that is more, in the moment and batching content, it just doesn't work for me. And when I released the need for myself to batch content, oh my gosh, I, I loved marketing so much more, right? And also, it also comes from like a deep sense of self-trust because I trust myself. I give myself that permission to do things my way, to do things with how I want to do things. Okay, so um, we talked about like becoming curious, with the reason why you're in your own way and the reason why this behavior exists, right? And then um, the next thing I want to talk about is really practicing learning and be befriending your mind and befriending with how your brain works, right? There is a very specific way with how our neural pathway works, how our brain runs in our, like how the thoughts the beliefs run in your head and when you can learn to use it for you instead of being against you then you can very very intentionally change the beliefs that you have about yourself and you can really rewire that um so inside and daring one of the things that we're really going to help you work on is liberation liberating yourself from the narratives that's in your mind really working on really seeing like you are not your thoughts and really be able to step out of that place and 
learning to work with your mind in a way that works for you. The reason why there are a lot of inner critic, like a lot of critical thoughts in your mind is because there is a certain way of thinking that you've been very, very used to thinking and telling yourself. And those could be, and a lot of the times, those are thoughts and beliefs that you have about yourself that you picked up growing up, right? So they might not be your voice. They are the voice of your mom or the voice of that teacher from elementary school. Maybe it is the voice that you learn from this one random stranger on the internet and you picked it up and you start thinking that about yourself inside you. And so it is about identifying what that voice is, deciding intentionally if we want to keep it, right? And then learning to shift out of that place and to focus on the different thought and focus on the more empowering, effective thought that actually works for you right so this inner credit that you have in your mind right now that's telling you you're irresponsible you're lazy you're not good enough identify what your thought is right now and then really ask yourself whose voice is this that I picked up is it the voice of your mom or is it the voice of like um you know a younger version of you whose voice is this and do I want to keep this or not so that's liberating yourself from your mind. The other thing is really liberating yourself from, um, I call this liberating yourself from stuck memories that's in your body. So in your body right now, in the nervous system, there are memories that are stuck. Stuck as sensations, they can be seen as trauma, or right? trauma is stored in our body. And... A lot of the time, let's say you had this past rejection that happened to you. In the past, maybe you were, um, you know, maybe in the past you felt like you've been taken advantage of. Or in the past, you felt like you had a failed, you made a huge mistake. And that was very embarrassing and traumatizing for you. And now, moving forward, when you think about similar but not but not the same right but similar experiences or doing similar things the past keeps on coming back to haunt you and this shows up in your body and so inside in theory one of the things that we're going to work on as well is helping you liberate yourself from the somatic experiences from basically helping you heal from trauma and helping you get unstuck from this place so that in your body, on the body level, you feel freed. So you have the capacity to do things, but without the burden. To do things, but without feeling similarly from the past. Um, And so that's like, it's like more of a somatic thing. So it's something that we will definitely help you work through. So you can heal from the past and create new experiences and create new memories that you want to take with you moving forward, right? Let's say in the past, um, I know that this comes out a lot with business owners. Like it, let's say in the, if in the past you've had a failed launch or you've had a failed event that you did it once. And then now when you think about doing another similar thing or you want to reach out again to like similar people or um it's create similar opportunities. The feeling of rejection, the fear of rejection is still there. And so we want to help you work through that on the body somatically to liberate yourself from those experiences. Um, it could also be like, let's say in your inner critic, in your, your critical thoughts right now, and in your body, there are a lot of made up scenarios that's in your head that's coming from fear, coming from mostly coming from fear <laughs> and maybe like coming from anxiety, right? And so really liberating yourself from that anxious state in the body and to create a new kind of scenario for you to walk into and for you to step into. Okay, so um, how to get out of your own way. Um, the other thing I also want to talk about is notice where you're telling yourself you're doing things because you're supposed to, because you should right? 
Like, let's say if you are telling yourself that you have to wait until a certain period of time, then you can finally have fun. <laughs> let's say like you tell yourself you have to wait until you've made enough money, you get to a certain milestone in your business, then you can actually have fun and do things the, the way that you want to. Okay, first of all, that is a thought error. That's a thought error. And why I say this is a thought error? Because, because it's simply an error that's simply not true. The fact that we tell ourselves we have to wait before we actually do what we want to do. And actually, in a lot of cases, it is actually you first letting yourself feel fun. You first letting yourself feel joy. You first letting yourself feel relaxed. That is actually how the money comes. That's actually how the success comes to you. Because you're in the energy of attracting those things. Right? This is a faster way to creating your results instead of pushing and grinding yourself to that next goal, whatever it is. It's about actually let's embody the feeling that you will have after you have achieved that goal into your current experiences right now. To feel relaxed now, to feel proud of yourself now, to feel successful right now, to feel enough right now. And then from this place, then we take those actions then the external tangible results that comes to us so much faster, right? So a lot of the things that we're going to work on inside endearing is exactly this. We're going to help you do the inner work and match what it is that you're calling in. Okay, so I hope that um what I've been talking about really kind of like help you to start thinking about things differently and question some of the thoughts that's in your mind because there could be a lot of thought errors that's in your head right now that's just simply not true. So um, really thinking about getting yourself out of your own way, it's about stepping out of the patterns of your brain and stepping out of the patterns of what you've been used to to create a new kind of experience, a new kind of basically a new way of living of how you want to live, how you want to behave, how you want to think and believe about yourself. Okay, so I hope that you can join me inside Endearing. It is a nine-week program and it's going to be so much fun. Um, the enrollment ends in a few days. Uh, feel free to check out and learn more in the description. We start officially on May 15th and... Yes, and that's what I have for you for today. Okay, if you ever have any questions, any thoughts about anything about this episode, about Endearing, feel free to send me a message on Daring Living, on Instagram at Daring Living, and I will talk to you next week. All right, have an amazing one. Bye.